and still from Serap, there is an urgent need to put in place a culture of accountability and transparency if the war against corruption is to record the desired result. This assertion came to the front burner in Lagos at an interactive session on uh, promoting collective action against corruption and mismanagement in the water and health sector on the launch of a new report by the Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project Serap. Analysts believe it had become imperative for collective action in the implementation of the recommendations and demand accountability from ministries, departments and agencies and public officers in the water and health sector. An assistant research consultant, Bosek Wukwala, observed that poor people were the victims and not perpetrators of corruption in the two sectors, adding the states do not have documented policies for helping people living in poverty or people earning low income, which would enable them have access to water and health. Deputy Director at uh, Sarapulua Dari Kolawale also mentioned the report highlighted the link between corruption and its effect on poor people and two public services. We collected 30,000 naira, which is the minimum wage per month, and used almost half of the money to get water in a month. And don't forget, some of them are married, they have children to take care of, and it's not only water they will be spending the money on. They have other needs, which is not, don't we have said that water is a major need in the house, but they have other things to get out of. So that means the minimum wage will still make them to be, continue to be poor. Why do we have this? Because there is corruption. Corruption is into every hemisphere, and then it's touching every segment of society. Things that need to uh, make a robust engagement of media houses, traditional rulers, religious leaders, youth organizations, to be well informed on the type of corruption uh, going on. One, having done that, and then there's need again to pack two more in uh, mobilizing and educating the politicians. We're mobilizing the politicians on the need for them to positively engagement during the budget. There is the need for citizen engagement. To take these recommendations and action plans forward. So you can expect that these action plans as spoken today will be put into action. So you can expect some lawsuits, if possible, from some of the action plans put forward to all public officers to account. And you can expect some uh, capacity building in form of public enlightenment as a grassroots too. Uh, the aim of all this, of the conversation and the outcomes, is to ensure that Nigerians can hold the fight against corruption and hold the government accountable. Part of the grassroots campaign, awareness, sensitization, to equip the community members to demand accountability for corruption. Because corruption is a major issue. The campaign and the message of family planning to places of worship, like in churches and mosques, and they were also talking about collaboration. We should collaborate with um, other civil society organizations.